Hello everyone, welcome to an Isaac Daily Run with Eden. Haven't done daily for a while, haven't done any recording for a while to be fair. We have Butterbean and a health upgrade, which means we started off with only two spirit hearts, which is not great. Uh, considering that now we have one of our items used up. Is that what that, yeah, that's, uh, it does recharge, but it's not very good. Our stats seem okay, we're reasonably quick, and our fire rate is okay, although our damage itself doesn't seem too brilliant. Um, I'm not a fan of this though. You leave me alone. <laughs> Help. But Butterbean is a pretty shit item, so I wouldn't mind replacing it reasonably quickly if entirely possible. Also, let's get rid of that champion because it can take away an entire heart. At least these ones aren't shooting at us, that's certainly helpful. And we have a pill, which we'll take. It's perks. Perks is good to know about. We could certainly try and hold on to it and. Um, I don't know, maybe we could... Oh, that was a great shot. Maybe we could make something happen with... Uh, I was going to say with the self-sacrifice room, but it does like look... Yeah, that it does look like we're going all the way anyway, so it's not like it's going to be that big of a deal. I'm kind of expecting a bomb to show up. We've got Eden's Blessing, which... Apparently we also have Curse of the Maze. Yes. Um... This floor could have been better. Eden's Blessing is a fire rate upgrade, I think. But otherwise, not that brilliant. It doesn't help us on our next run, which is what it would normally do. And uh, I believe this is Butterbean, which is just reusable knockback. Now, as you can see, it does recharge like, without having to complete the room. It recharges over time rather than for fighting rooms, but at the same time... I can't imagine it's actually that valuable for us. I guess in certain situations like this one, it can be okay. But I mean, do I really want to... Oh my god, it works on bullets! I did not know that. I guess it doesn't work on um, brimstone lasers, but... I guess it kind of doesn't need to. <laughs> so if you think you're going to get hit, just fart on it. That's, that's pretty good, actually. Um, how many times do you want to say actually? How many times I can. Usually you would probably just put down Butterbean and get rid of it ASAP, but the opportunity to deflect shots from enemies that would otherwise hit us, like a, you know, a bad moment in a Gurdy fight or something like that, it could actually save us a lot of damage over the course of this run. Although I have been hit already, somehow. How did I get hit? Not quite sure. <laughs> yeah, I like that, actually. That's pretty decent. Try not to get um, in front of it when the laser fires, but that's pretty good. More HP, and this time with regeneration, but I mean, honestly, what else do we do on this floor? We can't even find the secret room. We didn't get the bomb required to open the tinted drop, which is a shame. Uh, I might as well go for this now. I mean, you try. Spiders. Bit of a pest. Took a lot of damage there. Not my proudest moment, I'll be honest. Reusable knockback does not seem to work too well on the enemies themselves. Although they're quite slow, maybe it's just a weight thing. I don't know. Yeah, not even on the flies, which are very light indeed. But it's good for shots. It took a lot of damage on the curse room, mostly because I didn't anticipate the blue fires, which is obviously a mistake on my part, but hopefully it won't be too big of a deal, because we are on the basement, which means uh, I suppose the worst thing that could happen is we end up fighting... Maybe Little Horn could be a less than optimal fight. Um, what else can we fight? I don't really know. If it seems extra echoey, by the way, it is. I've removed a lot of the stuff that used to be in this room, so now it's basically bare floorboards. Why am I going in here? Because A, I want to know what it is. Hopefully we're going to get another bomb. I was hoping that there was something else in there besides the bed, but the... Uh, Knowledge that it's a clean room means that we at least can think about using a bomb to try and get into a crawl space down there, because we know that it's, if not guaranteed, then extremely likely that under the carpet there's a crawl space rather than just a trip down to the next floor. We're going quite slowly, despite everything. Try not to open this door by accident. And we're through. We want to get to the item room. We do have the keys necessary to do so. I'd like to maybe get... Oop, I bashed the... Oh. I bashed the microphone, by the way. I'm just standing staring at this going, we could make this happen, but honestly, I think we cannot make this happen. Stop trying to make Isaac's art happen. 
Does it work against these bastards? It does push them away to some extent, but they seem to sort of elasticate themselves back. There's a rubber banding going on here, and I'm not a fan of it. See how they pull themselves back really quick? So no third bomb, which is a shame, because we didn't really need to use them. But also no little horn fight, and I think we can probably get away with fighting this monster without taking any ah, foolish damage. That was very close. Of course, we can, of course, uh, use Butterbean to great effect on this fight with the large bullet hell nature of the monstro that we've been lumbered with. I'm just using the Butterbean whenever I think a shot is remotely likely to get close to us, thus guaranteeing us a deal with the devil, or at least, yeah, I think we guaranteed it. Whether we can take anything will remain to be seen. Honestly, I don't think it did anything to those. Maybe we have to be closer, but I'm really not. Really not in the mood for being close to monstro shots. Because not only would any of these basically completely eradicate our deal with the devil opportunity, but the large ones can do a full heart of damage to us. Which is not something I want to be sticking around for. In fact, this being a champion enemy, I'm not entirely sure whether they all would do a full heart of damage. This champion version of Monster, of course, rarely jumps, mostly shoots. Very irritating. And has a lot more HP than your average Monstro. And way more than your other version of the champions, where there's two of them. But we did get everything we need. We'll probably go in here first. Uh, yes. I mean, Ghost Baby will be free here. Oh, shit. You didn't die quite as fast as I would like to. So Ghost Baby will be free. We did get another bomb as well. And then this will give us our two spirit hearts, and then this will give us even more HP. We're actually pretty powerful now. That was a very good deal with the devil. Ghost Baby doesn't really do too much for us. Um, but it was free, so I took it. I don't really want to look for the secret room. I want to go down into this fairly guaranteed crawl space that we have down here. Yeah, definitely very likely, if not for certain. It's just a bunch of money, which could be good for us, but I guess you often expect more from it <laughs> than we got. And I could go back into the curse room and blow up those four blue fires, but honestly, spending a spirit heart to get maybe a chance of getting another spirit heart doesn't really seem like a great economy to me. Now, do you want to use this bomb to try and find a secret room, which is probably here? It is. Uh, yeah, we did get three bombs out of it, so it was actually worthwhile. I'm not sure whether it was worthwhile from a opportunity. Well, we've used the key now. I don't even mean to. Luckily, we have one left, so it doesn't really affect us too badly. What is that doing? Uh, but yeah, bit of a waste of a key. Not my greatest hour, but I knew it would happen eventually. You just had to try and walk around the edge of that room and you're going to accidentally open that door. It was inevitable. So I'm not too salty about it. We've got the opportunity to purchase a spirit heart and we're not worried about having five cents on this floor because there's no opportunity currently for that to manifest as an arcade because that can only happen on second floor. That could be pretty good if we get a better spacebar item, but right now I'm starting to feel maybe our spacebar item is going to lose its efficacy rather quickly. Although, as we get later into the game, being able to deflect enemy bullets in that way could actually turn out to be extremely valuable. It remains to be seen. It does still work. Um, I obviously had no reason to doubt its continued effectiveness, but it's worth making sure that it's doing what you think it's doing. This can just fuck off though, seriously. This one. Open. Oh, that was actually pretty good. We got a key back. We have an AWAS rune. Now, normally you'd think, oh, an AWAS rune, that lets us get further than we would normally get. But of course, ah, oh, I hate that. Uh, we are slightly too slow to be pulling these stunts. What we actually need to be doing is shooting the fucking things. But apparently that's not possible. There we go. Good done. I would like to very much replace this spacebar item. It has some uses. It's obviously not the worst spacebar item in the world. We'll probably come back to this. Uh, but... There's, everything else is better. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. I think even Monster Manuel may be better than this. Uh, it may not be. I don't hold me to it, but still. We've got Taurus. I picked it up. We are now extremely slow. But we do have... I think it's a decent item, and I... I think we have some decent amount of opportunity to... Uh, improve our speed over time, and as we get more speed upgrades, we will 
be closer and closer to Taurus triggering very often, which will allow us to just steamroll more and more runes, but unfortunately it did not replace our spacebar item, which is kind of what I wanted it to do. Now this is a Gurdy that will not be producing... will not be shooting at us, it will only be producing these enemies, which is very embuggering indeed. We're getting faster and faster, so when we get fast enough and we become invincible, we'll knock out all these nubs back here. Just ensure that they're all gone, basically, is my plan there. Uh, I think it produced another one. Can you not? Oh, shit. What happened? You fucker. I know they're back here somewhere. Our damage is fine. But good is as tanky as all shit, so... It kind of makes it seem like our damage could be better. And it could be. And now that we're really slow again, because Taurus is activated and we're still fighting Gurdy... I feel sluggish. Maybe Taurus was not the greatest thing to pick up in this situation. Alright, we're done with that. Deal with the devil? No. Do we get experimental streaming? This could speed us up. It didn't really speed us up. It slightly sped us up, maybe. Uh, I guess we try here. There is something here. There's a trinket and we don't have one. The rosary bead, I think, causes the Bible to show up. But it does cause more spirit hearts to show up, and we are basically relying on those at this point, so... I'm happy with that, and I don't mind skipping a bunch of that floor. Why has our damage gone down so much? Don't mind. Oh, experimental treatment has completely fucked our damage. That's a problem. Uh, I guess we just hope to recover. <laughs> That's all we can do. It's not that bad, because our tier rate is actually pretty good. So our DPS is still basically fine. That was a very good use of that, if I say so myself, which I do. But, I mean, it's not like anyone else is here to say so. You can blow your own trumpet when there's no one else around to blow it. I think that's fair. Uh, yeah, that was pretty shit, so, in fairness, if I do a shit thing, I will say that was shit. And if I do a good thing, I will say that was great. I'm going to hold on to this Awaz rune until we get something better, or at the very least... It lets us get out of the curse room. So, I'm not entirely expecting it to give us any great benefit. This is bullshit, though. Die already. The range on them things. Hello? Please? Thank you. I'd like to leave. Maybe should have done this room last and used the AWAS room here. Don't know. Our damage is no longer great. So I'd like to be able, may, maybe be able to pick up some bonuses to this to make up for experimental treatment, which could have been so much better for us, but at least it contributes to spun, so with a couple more syringes, at least we get the opportunity to undo its own damage. We are done. We've got bombs. Bombs are actually quite useful. I'd rather have keys, but um, various things so far on this run have been gated by bombs, and it's good to have a few. Shit. This is fucking difficult when you can't kill anything. Like, these things should be dead by now, but they're really refusing to die. As a result of experimental fucking treatment. Uh, is that also more spirit hearts? I think so. One of those is better than the other one. Oh, shit. Fucking hell. The thing is here, we're really quite slow, so it's very difficult to get out of the way of these spiders, which are faster than us. We're actually speeding up this time, though. The uh, Taurus won't proc, well, won't activate on... Um, on a room that you have to activate. So if there's no enemies when you start the room, we've taken a lot of damage, by the way. If there's no enemies when you start the room, Taurus will not begin charging, which is uh, kind of a problem. It means you can't use it on boss trap rooms, basically, which would have been very helpful because it would have helped us with the fistula fight that started that boss trap room. Very much expecting that I'm going to want to be uh, using this butter bean reasonably often, but as we speed up here, we can start to kite them around a little bit more easily, and then walk into them when it finally triggers, which is now. This is now. This is now. Hello? There we go. Make sure, just get rid of them. Darkest dungeon principles. Get rid of them. Having fewer on the screen is better. Uh, I kind of want some money, I guess. Oh, perfect. I was about to say, we can go back and have a look for some HP and see if we can get the blood bag out of it, but the blood bag happens straight away, which is actually... Oh, shit. Uh, better than I could have expected. Can you stop producing these things? I can barely get rid of them. Thank you. Holy shit. We speed up so much uh, as a result of Taurus that you kind of forget. It can make it a little bit difficult. 
I'm kind of regretting picking up everything that I picked up on the last floor. It basically made us worse in every way. Where's my item room, though? Of course, it's quite difficult to know when these things are going to explode. Ah! You've got to be careful to make sure that they don't, you know, shoot you as a result of doing so. Get the champion! Uh, that's fine. Hmm. Well, hopefully we get a deal with the devil on this floor, and if not the deal with the devil, at least hopefully we can get some damage upgrade from the boss. We've still got a great rate of fire. But, I mean, I have to imagine that experimental treatment completely undid all the damage we got from the pact. And to some extent, you can suggest that maybe it um, got rid of a lot of the HP that we got from the pact, because not being able to do damage and therefore being at the mercy of all these enemies that charge you down. Ah, bad. Uh, may have cost us at least two spirit hearts so far. So Taurus was not enough to kill the Spain here. And we didn't get a deal with the devil. We got a tears upgrade, so now we're going to be firing. I don't feel like we're firing that much faster, to be honest. Hmm, hoping really for a speed upgrade to not only counteract Taurus, but also to, you know, enhance it. But maybe we'll see an effect from the coat hanger just now. Just the... Ah! Fudge! Got stuck on a wall there. Just a raw DPS. Should be able to let us play chicken with some of these things. And Taurus. Playing really badly. Um, I'll be honest. I feel like I should be doing better than this, even with the damage that we do have. But my brain is not matching for the patterns, you know? There is a curse room, so we could AWAS out. No, um, no qualms with that. Hate this. You can't get rid of these things before they start making creep, then you're in for a world of hurt. Lard, no. I'll use bombs. I think money may be more precious to us because we can use it to um, buy spirit hearts, mostly. <laughs> Book of Secrets just told us about the secret rooms. I'm going to keep hold of Butterbean. Maybe I should have kept re-rolling Butterbean and kept hold of Book of Secrets. It may have been more use for us. Oh, man. More bombs? I think we can do better than this. Yes, we can absolutely do better than that. Now we've got a pretty good run behind us. Uh, greed is not dying very fast, but you can see the size of our tears compared to what you'd normally expect from Polyphemus is tiny. But the rate of fire is really, really good. Also, that was a greed fight, so unfortunately we were not able to get the spirit heart that we went in for. Uh, and these are just spiders in this chest. So I'm just going to use Awar's room to get out of this. Oh, thank you. That was a placenta trying to heal us, but we didn't need healing. We're going so slowly, I'm going to suggest maybe we're not going to be able to get to boss rush. Uh, Curse of the Lost is certainly not going to help with that, considering we've got three minutes to get to the end of the next floor. Not very likely. And that is bullshit, because you would absolutely expect that to be knocked back, but of course we have Polyphemus, which means it has no knockback, because normally it would go through. That is a uh, massive pain in the ass. Also, it did a full heart damage, so... I'm sorry, what? So this is a pretty shit run. I mean, I feel like I could be doing better straight up. But also, we've had nothing really to help us out. Should not have taken experimental treatment, should not have taken blah blah blah. Maybe should have kept a better space by writing, but at least we got Polyphemus out of it, so. Can't be too salty about the rerolls. But then, I guess we would be holding Book of Secrets and Polyphemus rather than. Oh, please. Um. Butterbean and Polyphemus Joker. Two spades. Can't really see this being too much value for us at any point in the future. Because if we're not going to make it to Boss Rush, we're unlikely to make it to Hush unless we get something really good out of the room that you would normally you know, do Boss Rush on. But then, if we expect to get any better, we're going to get better for having the opportunity to get something good out of Boss Rush. I completely forgot that these things turned into bonies. Um, so, more for me, I suppose. Get out of the way when they change. Or just walk into them with Taurus, which I keep forgetting we have, even though we are getting faster during the course of a individual room. 
burning where you are. Burning was a warrior way, hey. Yikes. Okay, good. Some HP helps, but I don't know where I am. No way we're getting to boss rush. We just got dragged down. There's a there's a tinted rock there. We should explode it. Drag down, down, down into the ring of fire. Um, by experimental treatment, which has yet to even pay any dividends because we haven't actually had another syringe. Spirit heart helps. We've already taken red heart damage, unfortunately. So we're unlikely to get a deal with the devil as well, which is kind of hampering us. Oh shit, me! They fucking cornered me, man. Thought I was doing great, and they got me. I don't like the speed we're going at. I don't like this run. <laughs> I'll be first to admit. Uh, I'm going to keep playing it, and I think we can win. But I don't think we're competitive. Triple shot. Polyphemus is going to be firing slow as fucking balls. But, oh my god, it really is not. Somehow, we're actually firing faster than I would have anticipated. Um, I want to buy both of these. Car battery doesn't help us right now, but we could easily get a... Uh, spacebar item in the future that massively benefits from double charge. Any book that gives us something. Well, basically I'm thinking of um, Book of Revelations or Satanic Bible that gives us spirit hearts. Anything that gives us a, a consumable and advantage, a direct advantage like that. Nothing there. Okie dokie there. It's always fucking brownie at this stage. Also, can we talk about the fact that he just literally fired a poo at me? And I'm supposed to be okay with this. We've yet to take red heart damage on the boss, so we still do have some chance to deal with the devil. Which has come to pass, so don't accidentally walk down there because you're super fast. I will definitely take Book of Belial instead of that bullshit. I don't think having double charge on this really helps us in any respect. And we've been to the shop, we've been to the item room, we'll go down, we've already missed boss rush, but I'm not going to explore the rest of the Curse of the Lost Floor. No sorry, Bob. We did buy the map, so now we can at least see whether we need to go in some direction or another. Oh, this is bad. Okay, good. Um, I was trying to get that one. Ooh, got it. I'm going to do this. Get yourself some HP. Leave it behind. And then come into the boss trap room. Completely mishandled every room so far in the entire game, as you can no doubt tell. Um, so, it's not just your thanks. <laughs> fucking dick. Why don't we use this? Yeah, good fucking question. Why don't we use this? Where is all my damage, though? I've got Polyphemus triple shot, and I've used Book of Belial, and Loki's still standing up. <clears throat> I'm definitely hitting it with all three shots, right? Oh, uh, not always. But still. Die. Excuse me, die. It would be nice if there was some mechanic in the game that would allow you to get into boss rush even though you are late. So now, I understand the whole point of it is to be, uh, be there in 20 minutes, but at the same time... I might as well use the two of spades now. I'm definitely keeping the chaos card. Because the chaos card allows us to fight, hush, and win. Even though we are completely incapable of doing so by our own merits. It's a get out of jail free card. It gets us a absolute free hush fight. And if we're not going to be doing boss rush, then there's a strong chance we'll make it to the hush fight in time. Take the pill because we don't know what's good for us. Um, I'm pretty sure it's dead ends this way. Yeah, why did I? Uh, why did I come here when I was pretty sure it was a dead end? I don't think Taurus is getting us any faster right now, which is annoying because I'd like it to be giving me some advantage against the vortex, but never mind. Which way was it? <laughs> of course I took an amnesia pill on the first floor when I've actually got a mapping advantage. This is bullshit. Fucking get out of here. There we go. You die, you die, you die, you die. How are you not dead? Really hate bonus. So somehow, I have still not figured out how to not get hit by bonus, which is bullshit. It's easy, you just don't get hit. Come on. Spirit Heart is fine. I'll also give some blood to this blood bank because they are equivalent. They don't think there's any reason not to. Probably should have been using my Book of Belial a little bit more often. I'll use it now. We'll get uh, two charges back on this. We are using it twice every time we press the spacebar, but honestly, I don't think that does anything for us. Yeah, we'll go to the shop. Yeah, we'll take that. Is that a nickel I heard drop? No, just a penny. 
Well, we found the shop, so there's that. Did we find the item room? No. I mean, we've got the map, not the compass, and of course we can't see either anyway, because we took an amnesia pill, because why the hell not, right? Um, but I'd like to be out of here before I die. My natural death. Oh, right, we're doing this, are we? Okie dokie, then. Uh, uh, small damage upgrade. This run has not really been that exciting for us. Apart from the fact we've got Mom's Pearl occasionally producing, you know, uh, Spirit Heart for us to keep us alive. Luck upgrade, probably better off with the Spirit Hearts at this stage, because we're taking a lot of dumb damage. Uh, the game is not really being very forthcoming with um, things that stop us taking dumb damage, like Spirit Hearts, or at least protect us from said dumb damage. So, there we go. Some of those. We've got a mom fight. We'll use the Lyle. We will not use the Chaos card. We'll just shoot mom. We've got some good damage behind us now. Of course, Polyphemus, any sh the shots reduce in size, so if they don't need their fuck. I saw that way too late. If they don't need their full uh, power, the rest of it keeps going through. I saw that falling and I stood out of the way. What now? Okay, we took a lot of damage there as well. Not really happy with it. I probably should do a warm up run or two before I try these things, but you know, you feel like you should be half decent at this game after this amount of time, right? The map is going to help us get through these room, these floors pretty quickly, which means that we should be able to get to the hush fight, provided we don't make royal mistakes in figuring out which way the boss actually is. We'll use this as often as possible as well. No real reason not to. That was extremely stupid. Might as well take a... I mean, it may or may not be useful to us, but... We did pick up Mom's key, so being able to open a golden chest at least would be nice. Oh, for fuck's sake. I could literally die right here because I cannot remember how to play this game. Oh, you fucking... What? Can we talk about the fact that that thing just somehow deflected me before I even got close to it? I hate these. By the time you found them, they've already fired at you. I walked into the fucking shop. What is wrong with me today? Still got 295th. That must have been a really difficult run for that many people managed to do that badly. Ugh. I'm just not with it today. I can't cope with this. So maybe you'll come back tomorrow and join me on that run. But this one, just leave me alone. Don't talk to me. I'll see you tomorrow.